Today we're sharing our drunk horror stories. One summer I was living in Japan for a couple months. One weekend we went to the party district in Tokyo called Rapungi. There was a great deal at the bar that we went to where it's like pay a thousand yen which comes out to like under nine dollars and you get to drink all you want to drink so we did that and conga lines ensued we ended up trying to make the train back because it was like the last train that was leaving tokyo to head back home drunkenly we're like three of us are like running trying to catch the train and I'm like, I can't find my Metro card. I'm just crying and just like in a fit of like rage. All of a sudden, my friends are like, what are we gonna do? And they look around at me and I'm just like, hey guys, look what I found. And it's like my Metro card. And they were just like, the train left already. And so we ended up staying the entire night out on the streets of Tokyo. I proceeded to just sleepwalk in and out of sleep because I was pretty drunk. We hung out by a dumpster and we're singing camp songs and hung out at a McDonald's at one point and we're eating burgers. At one point this guy ran into me. He like turned back and wanted a fight and I just was like, eh. <laughs> And then I pretty much just came to as we're walking the streets at like maybe like 5 a.m. We all ended up taking the train ride back home at like 5.30. If I could talk to myself back then, I would probably tell myself to pace myself. So my drunk horror story is when I was a senior in college, halfway through the semester, my boyfriend of almost two years broke up with me. So I went to this party uh, in a basement as one does. It was like some DJ set, and I remember getting there and I was already drunk. I brought a big purse, and in my purse I had a six pack of uh, tall boy Narragansetts in my bag, which are like cheap, like New England beer. Oh, but yeah, anyway, I was drinking and I was like dancing and I was like talking to all these people. Basically, I guess I came to, when we were leaving the party, I like puked all over the kitchen of this party. And uh, then we got in a cab and I went home and my friend uh, just let me stay at her place. The only things that I remember are basically these pictures that I have on my phone. One of my friends took my phone and then she was taking pictures. I just looked drunk. Like I have never looked so drunk in my entire life. My hair was like up, but it was like falling out. My makeup was like all over my face. I was happy. But uh, it was awful and then I woke up and I felt really guilty and awful and uh, it was one of the worst hangovers of my life. Basically, here's the thing kids, drink responsibly every time and don't drink six tall boys, maybe max two. My first time I got drunk is probably the horror story. So one of my coworkers was having a birthday party. So I lived in the North Bronx and she lived all the way in Far Rockaway in Brooklyn. Now that's like two separate sides of the earth. First, I went to my friend in Harlem's house and we got thought juice. Now thought juice is another term for wine coolers or that's what we used to call it back in my day. And we drank some of those and then we went to Far Rockaway and that's when everything started to get blurry. So we get there and I immediately started drinking and I had no idea what I was drinking. So then everyone's dancing on the dance floor. I already don't know how to dance. I'm all up against the wall, falling down, and everyone is laughing at me. I guess my friends think I'm a little bit out of control and we need to leave. And I thought maybe we need to leave too because I had work at 5.30 a.m. the next morning. We're leaving. All I remember was I was cursing out guys, dudes, in Brooklyn. And it's just me and two girls. Then we get to the train station. I can't even go up the stairs. I'm throwing up all over myself when we're trying to go up the stairs. Then <laughs> we're on the train. I won't sit down. I keep yelling at strangers. And then we had to transfer because my friends were afraid. So we get to my friend's house in Harlem. At this point, I'm pretty sure it's gotta be like 5, 5.30 a.m. And she calls in sick for me at work. Tells the manager I'm sick. I can hear the manager yelling at her through the phone. The next thing I remember is waking up and I felt something. I felt something in my pants. I had shitted myself. What I did was I took those pants, basically used it as a towel to clean myself up. 
and then I put on my work pants and decided to go to work even though I had already called in sick. I'm about to clock in and my manager is cursing me out in front of everybody. But I basically just went through the motions of walking right out of work. I hopped on the train, so I go home and then I get a text message asking me to come into work <laughs> to do a closing shift. <laughs> All right, if I was talking to the Asia who got that drunk, I would say, listen, I really need you to care more about your safety. Mm -hmm.